Hi boys and girls, I hope you're well. It's time for us to have a story together. And this week I thought every day I would read a different Julia Donaldson story. Does anybody know who Julia Donaldson is? She's an author and authors write stories for us to enjoy. And can you think of a story that Julia Donaldson wrote? It's one that I know we all like and it's The Gruffalo but she also wrote lots of other stories. So this week we're going to enjoy some of her books together. And today I have chosen a squash and a squeeze. An old lady lived all by herself with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse. There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your hen, said the wise old man. Taking my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped round the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was porky for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your goat, said the wise old man. Taking my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, glory be. It was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your pig, said the wise old man. Taking my pig? What a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cried, stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. Even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Taking your cow, said the wise old man. Taking my cow? What a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. Having a little dance. The little old lady cried, heavens alive! It was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen. That's better, at last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house, it's enormous now. Thank you old man for the work you have done. It was weeny for five, but it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle-dee-dees. It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle-dee-dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. I hope you enjoyed that story boys and girls and I'll see you tomorrow for another Julia Donaldson story. Bye!